Alrighty guys, so we got pretty cool videos coming up. This is gonna be a series of a car we're building. It used to be a Prius sitting here. Now, the chassis is sitting in the garage here. The Prius is over in another shop. And then that is getting currently, getting everything cut out that needs to be. And we're gonna be working on body mounts. There is gonna be her new frame. That's all you're gonna see. But as of right now, she is a full rolling chassis. Actually a rolling and driving chassis. No, the rear axle isn't gonna drive because the shaft isn't hooked up. But the front is still hooked up. It actually would drive right now and steer. But right now what we're working on is getting the body mounted to that frame. So the body's gonna get prepared right now. Everything's gonna get cut out. We're probably gonna have to tunnel it. I'm not really sure yet. But I wanted to make this video releasing this project. We're putting a 12 valve Cummins in a Prius. That's what's in there, is the, the 12 valve, the engine, the, well the whole drivetrain engine, transmission and transfer case, and basically the whole chassis is in that garage. Now, I don't know if you guys have been around for a while, you'll remember a couple months ago I had an issue with my computer and I lost a lot of footage. I was able to salvage some of the footage from this, so I wanted to make a bunch of videos, a bunch of series of this, and I lost a lot of footage while I was making this and while I was breaking everything down. So, in today's video, all we're going to be doing is taking a look at our donor truck. Now, we started with a 1997, it would be, a, I guess, an extended cab, dually long bed. Now, we started with that truck. It was a great donor. I think it had like 150,000 miles on it, so it was pretty low miles for a second gen. And it had a dually, which... I'm going to make this car a dually. It's a Dana 80 with a dually axle. So, she's going to be a dually as well. But we're probably going to put super singles on it too. We want to put a single wheel in the back. Not really sure yet. Kind of got to see what we come up with. But, that was our donor truck. And the donor Prius was a 2010 Toyota Prius. That I think it just had an issue with the battery. Or something. I don't remember what was wrong with it. But, that was our donor car. Now, you could go and... and basically make a roll cage for the whole thing and just go ahead and slap that pig right in there but the way I look at it is if you do that we want to beat the absolute heck out of this thing and I wanted a four-wheel drive one I mean what's two-wheel drive do for you I want this thing to actually perform I want it to be fast and I want it to perform so that's why we used the truck as a donor and we modified that frame and we're just going to put the Prius on top of the frame, which some people are going to say, oh, that's, way, it's, that's easy. You're just putting a car on top of something that's already done. And if it's that easy, you should just do it yourself. But that's what we're doing. We're going to use this old girl, but she's just sitting back here for now. Now, the reason I wanted to do this, everybody always talks about a come and swap Prius. And everybody always thinks how cool it would be. And it's never been done with a 6BT. There's a gentleman that I didn't even know existed, honestly. I didn't know he even did it until I started doing this and I was looking into stuff and I'd, one of his videos popped up and I'm like, I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. I'm like, I didn't even, didn't even know this guy existed and I watched it. Got like three seconds in, it's a 4BT, which is still cool and he put it in the car, but it's two wheel drive and it's a 3.9. Who wants to put a 3.9 in a Prius? I want a six, a five nine, or a six seven. Maybe we'll do that one day. That's what this old girl's for. But without further ado, I want to show you the footage I have of this old truck. And next video, we're gonna be building that suspension, or ripping her apart, or doing something. Maybe we should do something with this girl here. Fires right up. She runs good, runs spectacular. I don't know how that sounds on camera, but this thing's ridiculously loud. We're running a open manifold there. Well, I won't be open manifold. It'd be like a turbo down. We don't even have a down pipe on her, she's loud.
so as I'm sitting here putting together what clips I do have, I realized we have two clips of this. Now, they are different, but I think we tried this about four times. I think it was on the second or third time. I realized the truck was in four wheel drive. That was my fault. I don't know how it happened because the shifter was just out of whack, but it was it was in the position of two wheel drive. So <clears throat> I think it just never disengaged maybe. I don't know. I'm not really sure how it happened. We did have a video of it doing a burnout and it lit them up pretty good, but I lost that. So we're just gonna have to settle for burnouts with the Prius once she's done. Sorry. If you want to see more of this build, make sure you leave a like and keep up with it. Because next video, we're going to be tearing the truck and the car down and kind of just going to be going from there. Building the suspension, making the body fit to the frame, making all that fun stuff work. And my goal is to make at least 600 horsepower with this maybe like 800 i don't want to get real crazy but i'm gonna make a decent amount of power the benefit of this now my goal is to be less than 5,000 pounds on this car i don't know if it's gonna happen or not but i think the truck's like seven something or eight something i have to check because i weighed it beforehand and the car was like 3,030 pounds guarantee that car easily lost a thousand maybe even two thousand so the car is probably down to like a thousand fifteen hundred at most that's my goal and if we make 6,800 horsepower, if, if we make 800 horsepower with that engine, I would think at half the weight of a truck, it would be equivalent to like 1,000 or 1,200 horsepower. We're gonna have to wait and see. So stay tuned for more. As always, thanks for watching and have a great day.